Mm. Come on, drink back. That's so good, guys. Please, if you find this video helpful, do thumb up, share it out, and comment below. Mm. More importantly, try it out yourself. You'll be proud of yourself. hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate you and may god bless you today i will be showing you how to make pap akamu ogi in diaspora you yourself can do this um this pap is for everybody though i'm making this one right now because of my baby but everybody in the house will partake in eating this pub. So stay tuned, let's get right into the video. So guys, I'll be using these two maize over here. The white maize and the yellow maize or the red maize. But feel free to use one color. It's not a must to combine both colors of maize. And over here is my dawa, that's my millet, which I will also be adding. I will be making use of my big pot for this because I don't have a bigger container. So I will just pour in the maize inside my pot, as you can see me doing in the video. So the next thing I will be doing is to measure in my millet, that's my dawa, inside my maize. I will be putting about 4 cups, but this is a bigger cup and the millet is so dusty. So after putting it, I make sure I wash everything thoroughly before soaking it. I will be soaking this for 3 days, but every day I will wash it throw away the water and add a clean water to it if you can't find this millet feel free to use only maize but this millet was brought to me by my mom when she came for omogwa you can also get someone ship it to you from africa welcome back to my channel so guys today is the third day so today I will be blending and sieving the pap. So meanwhile, let me show you how it's looking like. I put it on the floor so I can use this surface and do other things. This is it today. You can see how it has formed on top. Mm. I think it has also fermented because it had that fermented aroma. Yeah, so I will be sieving it and I will wash it thoroughly before I will blend it. So stay tuned and keep watching. My water is now neat, as you can see, it's crystal white. So, let's start blending. As I'm blending, I'll be pouring it inside this container. And later, I receive it. I want to blend all first. Yeah, let me start with this quantity. 
I noticed the water I added was much, so I'll be adding a little bit of maize again. You see, this is the consistency I'm looking for. So I will put it here and continue blending till I'm done blending all. And I will see you when I'm done blending everything to show you the next step. just want to rinse my blender. Then I will show you the next step. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere, guys. So, guys, before I go on into saving it, I would like to rinse my sieve clothes. Door is clean. I've used this before. But I just want to rinse it because it has been long. Yeah. Let me come with my pot again because this is where I will be putting it. Let me move this. I'll be sieving it inside here. First of all, this my scarf is so big. It's so huge. I want to dye it first. Let's go there, guys. Hope you are still here with me. Don't go anywhere because all of us are making this food together. Okay? So I'm motivating you and I'm challenging you to go and prepare your baby food by yourself. You can do it. I know you'll be wondering where I got the millet. Yeah. Grandma brought it with her when she visited me for my omuga. She came with millet and this calf and the other one, what's the name? I don't know the name. The bag of 18. She came with them. I don't know if you can get the millet online like Amazon. But I know the corn, you can get the corn in any Afro shop around you. So what I do is after I put it in a ziplock bag and pop it inside my freezer and I put it bit by bit so if I just put hand and take any one that one we will finish that one that very day that's what I do and it can be in your freezer for years for months without spoiling okay so I'm challenging you and I'm motivating you this is this pap is a food for all it's not just baby's food it's not meant for only babies adults can have it everybody can eat it it's quite healthy so guys what are you still waiting for guys i just want to show you something as you can see the water is almost full yeah the water is almost full but I don't have a bigger container, so I will be continuing with this pot. So what I will do, I will stop adding water. I will use this water to sieve everything you are seeing here. I just take and put. So, and I will start sieving. I will not be adding any water. Because I don't want this to pour away. That's that water inside. I will use it to sieve. And once it's almost ready, you will also notice it in your pan. Because the texture will now be like sand. It will be like you are touching sand. And the color will also change. So let's continue sieving so you will see what I'm talking about.
almost done I will just put my hand here and draw it push it down so it will be separated from the water then I will press a lot of you know how to do this when are you coming back then? Ah, now you're the last time I come here. In my house, we have it turn by turn. Oh, it's your turn to see the park today. Maybe next week, another person will see. So that's how my mom divided it for everybody. It's not just the work of only one person, no. Everybody must partake. You see? Nothing is being wasted here, guys. After, I will still recycle this. I will use this for my fufu. I don't like wasting anything in my kitchen. That's how we roll. If you find this video helpful, you know what to do. You know the drill. Please share it out to motivate others, okay? Share to your friends, to your colleagues, to your family. And as you are sharing it, you are buying the corn, you are buying the millet, you prepare yours by yourself, okay? See? And make sure that your hands are clean whenever you are making your baby's food. Make sure your hands are clean. So let me continue with what I was doing before. I will see you guys later carefully remove the clothes that's the scarf Just from one end. I will keep this overnight to settle. Meanwhile, if you want to have it, you can keep it like eight hours to settle before you take it. But I will be keeping this overnight. I'm about to transfer it into this bag now. We normally use the front. So I will turn it over like this. You know, please, I'm gonna hold this thing for me, okay? But before that, I will take out some water because it has settled. What I need has settled. So. Mm -hmm. Can you see my part inside? Can you move it? See the pump. Mm, let me get my spatula. Thank you, Zip. It's a bit hard now. Ah. Ah. I think I have to take out the one he he will take this night. Yeah, a minute. Before. 
preparing this one for him this night. That's the ones I have as finished. Just to make sure that everything goes down. I will tie in my bag now. And after tying it, I keep it on top of something. As you can see, this has an opening. It has opening inside. It's like a sieve. Meanwhile, you can use plates, any round plates, or you can even use something like this. Keep it on top of it. On top, if you are using a plate, you can keep it on top of it for the water to drain. No, it's not standing. It doesn't have a base. I just basically put it inside. The water will still drain because this is a this is a sieve. I will leave this here till tomorrow for the water to drain out. Then I will see you guys by tomorrow. Okay. I want to carry you guys along, show you how I prepare the pap. I just added a little bit of water to this, just to get this consistency. Then I will add boiling water into it. To it thickens up. You see, like this is okay for an adult, depending on how thick you want it. For an adult, it's okay like this. But because I want to give my baby some, I will take this one. Then this one is for my baby. I will still add a little bit of water so that if I put it inside this bottle, you can be able to suck it. What I will do now is uh, I will add soya bean into it and I will also add the uh, milk. That's formula. If you have not seen uh, my soya bean video, please do check it out I, I will be leaving the link in the description box below so feel free to check the soya bean out you see this is the consistency that i need for my baby i just add breast milk or formula and soya bean i will stir it and give to the baby okay so see you guys tomorrow when this one must have drained i will show you guys what it looks like and how i pack it this is the one I will be drinking. So I just add a powdered milk inside mine. Then I will add my honey. That's just it. Then I 
my remis and I start drinking. Mmm. Oh my days. Mmm. Come on, drink pop. Mm. That's so good, guys. Please, if you find this video helpful, do thumb up, share it out, and comment below. Mmm. More importantly, try it out yourself. You'll be proud of yourself. So this is the next day. It has solidified. It has caked up. So I'll be taking it out and I will pack it inside a Ziploc bag. This is the quantity I got. This is the line from my sieve. So let's open the inside and see what it looks like. But meanwhile, let me wash my hands thoroughly before touching it. So guys, this is the quantity I got from my pap. My akamu is ready. My pap, my ogi. Guys, come and take your own share. Oh. Come and take your share. You cannot finish this alone. See how beautiful it's looking. So right now, I will go ahead and start tying it inside my Ziploc bag. And I will be tying it in a smaller quantity so that anyone I bring out for that day will finish it that day. And after tying it, I will pop it inside my freezer where it will stay for a long time. It can stay for years, it can stay for months, as long as you want. But make sure anyone you bring out, you finish it. Or if you can't finish it, if you want to put it outside, just add a little bit of cold water on top of it and keep it. So guys, this is it for today's video. Hope you learn one or two things and hope you are motivated to do yours. Like I said earlier in this video, you can use only maize if you don't have millet. But if you can find millet, that's good. It's has a very good health benefit so try yours and let me know but don't go anywhere the video is not yet finished and if you have worked up to this extent thank you so much i appreciate you remember to thumb up this video share it out also comment below and subscribe to my channel if you have not done that Over here is my soya bean. I'm making another batch of soya bean powder. Remember the link will be in the description box below. If you have not watched that, please check it out. And here is the chaff from my akamo. My pap chaff is under the sun. I'll be using it to prepare fufu. And here is my pap which I'll be popping inside my freezer. 
so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you for your time thank you so much until i come your way again remain blessed bye and see you in my next one remember to share out this video comment below thumbs up and also subscribe